Hello, uh, it's part two of our shotgun spread tutorial. Um, I, I was just going to leave it at part one, but I'm just messing around with it and realised we can improve on it fairly easily and effectively. Um, and also, I made a mistake in the first one. It's only a small mistake. Functionality-wise, it doesn't make that much difference, but uh, we'll, we'll fix that mistake while we're at it. So I'm going to add some projectiles to this. I'm still going to use the line trace function for it and the projectiles are just going to show where that line trace is hit because obviously you don't want a line trace in your game and these debug um, lines won't show in a package game anyway I don't think so uh, we'll keep them on for now persistent and we'll add some tracer uh, projectiles to that so first of all we'll spawn actor from class we haven't made that class yet, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, so this is far enough for every one of those. So if there's eight things we're shooting, it's a fire eight times and it will spawn eight of these and we want them to go in the direction of this line. So first of all, we can steal some more things from up here. So take everything from there, not this skeletal mesh, I don't know what it's doing there. And we'll duplicate it down here to start with because we're going to fix a mistake so this start location um, is wrong so we're stuck that start location is from our camera and we don't want to be shooting a line from our camera we want to be shooting it from a gun so we still need this for for the aiming um, but right we'll get rid of you get rid of you get rid of you and now this location here is actually from the tip of our gun. So we'll plug that in over there. Right, um, so we'll grab all those things again because we do need them for the actor we're spawning. Along with that, make transform there as well, which I missed. So that's the location for the make transform. And that's plugging into there. We need a rotation for this actor. So we need to make sure when the rotator, uh, sorry, when the actor is spawned, it's rotated towards where this line trace is going. Um, really, really easy way to do that. We can break our hit result. Open this box down and trace end is what we want. Now, you could do location, but if you're shooting up in the air, it's not actually hitting anything. So that location value won't be, it won't have anything in, it won't populate. So if we go to trace end, that'll always have some information for us. So um, we want look at, find look at rotation. So get rid of you for a second. The start of our look at rotation is where we are spawning the, the, the shot from. So whether it's the line trace or there, it's both spawning in the same place. So it's that one. And our target would be the trace end. So that'll look at two, the two locations and find out what the rotation is for those two for you to be looking at that or spawning this actor in that rotation. So you can plug that one in there. And that is all we need in here for now. Um, compile. And yeah, we've got an error because we haven't actually populated this class yet. So let's go and make that now. So in your content browser, right click, blueprint, actor, and I'll call it the shotgun um, projectile. It's a very simple system we've got in here. So in the components, we add a projectile movement. and a particle effect. So I'm going to put the cascade particle system in. Um, if you're using Niagara particles, then select that. So in the particle system on the right template, I'm going to use the pistol tracer. In the pack I'm using, there is a shotgun one, but it's it's got multiple tracers in there, as like a shotgun blast should be. Um, but they won't also all go in the correct direction that they won't be following my trace lines and things like that so we're going to spawn one for indiv each individual shot 
Um, that's all we need to do in the tracer. Projectile movement. We need to put gravity scale down to zero so it has no dip to it. And we'll put, I'm going to put the speed really low. Let's put it 500 because then we can see if this projectile is exactly following our, um, our line trace just to make sure we are 100% accurate. And that's all we need to do in there. So back into the components and we'll select shotgun projectile compile and make sure your line trace is on persistent for, for testing. Let's try it out. And they are bang on. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. That's actually really satisfying to see. <laughs> right, um, so let's let's get it up to speed. Um, we'll put a huge speed in. I'll put ten thousand in because the the line trace, which is the thing we're going to use to cause damage and everything, um, that is almost instant. Um, so we want these to be pretty quick as well. So let's turn the line trace off or the debug type off. So it's not that visible in this light, but there we go. So we can now see our scatter. So one thing I haven't done, um, I'll leave it up to you to do, is the projectile blueprint hasn't got any death. It, it never destroys actor. Um, so you, you can set it up to destroy itself after a certain time or something if you like. Um, it's no big issue. Or maybe put a collision box on there so uh, when it collides on hit, destroy actor. Um, just make sure it's not colliding with itself when it's spawned and it destroys instantly. So yeah, that's it for this. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing any more on the shotgun. Um, I'm probably going to do some on, on decals and things next. So when, when you shoot a wall or something, I want a little bullet hole in the wall. Um, and I'm, I, I might go into a little bit of detail and build it so if you hit different types of substances it's a different type of bullet hole so metal would look different than you shooting wood and things like that um, but that's for the future um, anything you want to see any sort of projectiles or anything then let me know in the comments and uh, i'll see if i can build it thanks for watching bye